Good evening and welcome back to AdCast. I'm Carl Burvish and I'm here with my lovely co-host, Chris Vadalero. Hello. We would like to welcome tonight one of our TBT Rising Stars of the Month, Aaron Slavin of the Slavin Law Firm. I would like to welcome. Thank you for having me. Thanks for coming on, Aaron. On being one of TBT's Rising Stars. Absolutely, that's a big accomplishment. We celebrate somebody every month here on the show that does that. Um, so tell me, you have own your own law firm. I opened my own law firm approximately three weeks ago. Wow. Uh, prior to doing that, <laughs> I was an assistant state attorney in Clearwater. I prosecuted all sorts of criminal cases uh, for, in Pinellas and Pasco County. Uh, the last two years at the state attorney's office, I was prosecuting all of the gang-related cases in Pinellas and Pasco County. Um, I was also on a uh, DUI manslaughter squad, which uh, responded to all of the traffic fatality cases uh, that would occur in the middle of the night. Uh, so I got some joy out of prosecuting those cases. Sure, and yeah, that's good work. You have to really get some, some personal fulfillment out of doing those kinds of things. Barely hear you. Sure. Uh, so how did you get into law? Um, I was a criminal justice major. I went to the University of Maryland and um, initially thought I wanted to do something with federal law enforcement, FBI, um, CIA, that kind of stuff, but uh, ended up taking some law classes in college, got interested, uh, went to law school, and knew that I wanted to be a trial attorney. Um, I guess what most people don't know, uh, most lawyers uh, probably 80, 90 percent of lawyers never really see a courtroom. They, um, they do paperwork, they sit behind a desk, and I wanted to be the actual type of lawyer that goes into court and handles cases. Sure. So. That seems like the really exciting word. Is that the case? Can you say that again? Is that the, it always seems that that is the really exciting work, and I think that's what draws a lot of people to it. Is that, have you found that to be the case? Uh, I find it exciting. I mean, obviously, what they advertise on TV and the shows that are out uh, on the networks all seem to focus on criminal law, mm -hmm. whether it's law and order or the practice, and it's always the police and the prosecutor and the defense attorney. The people's I'm not court. Aware, yeah. People's court, Judge Judy. Yeah. Uh, I'm not aware of any TV shows that focus on uh, the lawyer who does probate or wills or real estate. Um, I don't think so. I've seen that. I've seen pets, though. They have pet court or something like that. I'm pretty sure Animal Planet used to have it. So what are some of the practice areas that you have at your law firm now? Some of the what? So what are the practice areas that you practice in? Uh, right now, my, my specialty is always going to be criminal law. Um, having done that for six years, I obviously want to take the training and knowledge that I've learned at the state attorney's office and uh, use that skill set to help people out in the private sector. Um, but along with criminal law, there are some other practice areas that I'm going to get myself started in. I'm going to be affiliating with a good friend of mine to handle some personal injury cases, okay. do some personal injury law. And I've also been doing a little bit of advertising and um, getting retained on some small entertainment stuff, contract work in the local area for a lot of... Um, a lot of artists, a lot of uh, rappers, a lot oh, of DJs cool. wow. um, doing the contract work for people to get uh, gigs at clubs and, and, and record labels and sure. that kind of stuff. Wow, so a lot of little things uh, as well as some, some major ones going on to your firm. That's pretty cool. Uh, handling a lot of different things has got to keep it interesting, uh, as though that's ever a problem, I'm sure. Um, now, what are some of the, uh, there's a lot of advertising out there for various lawyers and things like that. What do you do as a, as a law firm? Well, really right, now my, right now my advertising is pretty much uh, focused on the internet. I'm trying to focus my advertising, uh, not necessarily to the younger clientele, but to the more modern uh, marketplace and business sector that we're dealing with today. Um, I've explained to some of my friends, you know, back in the day when someone wanted to find a lawyer, they would open up a phone book and flip through the thousands of lawyers and try and find one. Um, oh, you don't even have to open it. There's always one printed on the spine. <laughs> right. I'm trying to break free from, from sure. that type of mentality and try and use some of the new uh, social networking um, opportunities on the internet 
Uh, aside from having a traditional website that we've created, I've also made a MySpace page and a Facebook page um, and an opportunity to uh, advertise my law firm in those sectors as well. That's excellent. As uh, our audience at home can appreciate, those are some of the biggest, you know, innovative advertising technologies that are out there right now and more and more companies finding uh, use for things online. Now, I heard you did some work with the Pinellas Park High School trial team. I, I did that several years ago. I was a attorney coach for the uh, Pinellas Park High School Criminal Justice Academy, which uh, has a trial competition each year in Orlando. I was asked by their uh, criminal justice teachers to come uh, teach the 10th, 11th, and 12th graders uh, trial skills. And it's amazing the ability that those kids have. Mm -hmm. uh, we didn't have those types of opportunities when I went to high school to actually get into a real courtroom and litigate cases. So uh, that was a pretty good opportunity to, uh, to teach the kids in our community. That's excellent. And thanks for coming on the show tonight, Aaron. Uh, sounds like you got a great thing started off, and best of luck as you move forward with your new entrepreneurship. Well, thank you. We ap I appreciate the time. TBT uh, hosts four rising guests every month. A couple of the others this month included Matthew Shook, a Florida area manager for Advantage Surveillance Incorporated, and Rob West, a branch manager for AVP, M&I, Marshall, and Idley Bank. The TBT Rising Star can be found in the newspaper across the Bay Area in uh, over 3,800 locations, and the Rising Star runs every Wednesday. And we'd like to thank TBT for being one of our sponsors for AdCast, as well as Tampa Digital Studios and the Tampa Brewing Company. Thanks to you at home for watching, and we'll be right back with more AdCast. Make good choices.